Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of the White Farm. This is by KA77E. Uh, they always do fantastic work on maps, so I'm excited about this one. Um, this is 147.30 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off by reading the description, then we'll go ahead and get into it. It says, Welcome to the White Farm mod map, a fictional area in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania, somewhere between Baltimore and Philadelphia. The White Farm takes place in the idyllic area where family farms still dominate. Here you will find everything that makes a real farmer's heart beat faster. Uh, produce products from your gardens, take care of your animals, and cultivate your fields. The White Farm is typical is a typical single-player map, uh, but you can also play a two to three players in multiplayer. You can find this on the map. Four new products, mixed salad, strawberry jam, popcorn, and fries. Uh, one farm with cows, chickens, pigs, and a farm production. One purchase purchasable paddock. Uh, 18 fields from 1 to 9 hectares, 5 meadows from 1.5 to 4.6 hectares, 1 forest area that is 3.7 hectares, 1 building area which is 1.4 hectares, 3 purchasable field barns, 1 viable bale and pallet storage, various points of sale and production, uh, and vehicles, customized vehicles included in the package, a John Deere 4955 with 246 horsepower at 45 kilometers per hour, a Case IH8910 with 170 horsepower at 40 kilometers, uh, and then a KUH NSR 314 white edition. Um, I hope you enjoy the white farm. There are four required mods that requires the placeable power line by Top Ace 888, the silo and containers by Bernie Six, and the USA White Farm Building Spec, also by them. And then it also requires the old grain mills by Bartso NV3. So there we go. And here we are in new farm mode. Let's go ahead and hop into the menu. So here we go. KA77E always makes a really tidy little small maps, but always does a really good job with them. So I'm really excited about this one. This one I might. I mean, honestly, it's a nice little American map. I don't think, I don't know if ka 770s ever done like a specifically American map. So I'm really excited about this. Um, yeah, this is going to be awesome. So you have your forest area up here. Um, yeah, forest area there. You got some meadows you can see dotted about here. Very good. Very good. I'm very excited. Okay. Anyhow, I'll get off my excitement boat here. Um, we should be able to buy most things. It doesn't look like you can buy everything, but uh, there, yeah, there's some peripheral you can't buy, but most of the land you can buy um, and do stuff on. Uh, so starting out new farm mode, we have lands three, four, five, six, seven and this meadow over here, which is land 25. So again, we own field 17, three, four, and two, and this kind of chunk of land here. Uh, this is kind of our main farm with everything on it, and everything like that. So uh, we'll obviously take a look around that, and do all that sort of stuff. Um, and of course, we'll drive around the map. It looks like we have, is that a vehicle up there for us to use? Maybe if I can select it. Nope, I can't select it for whatever reason. Struggling. Yep, can't select it, whatever I do. Okay, anyhow, moving on from there. There are four custom products on here, no custom crops. Um, and I believe actually everything on here looks, that looks fairly standard. Um, so if we get down to the bottom, we can make popcorn, french fries, mixed salad, and strawberry jam, which is great. If we go in here, we have a lot of starting equipment. We'll take a look at all that in the store in a second. We start with $100,000 in new, in new farmer mode, no starting loan. Uh, we did lose a little bit to production costs and a little bit to water costs, I'm assuming, for our animals. So here we go. We have some cows, chickens, and pigs starting out, which is great. Um, and then we have some contracts in the fields we do not own. And these are actually decent uh, payout contracts for the fields. Uh, that we have on here. Then we also own starting out a uh, fermenter, a uh, vegetable garden, another vegetable garden, and then a farm production, which has the mixed salad and strawberry jam, which is great. Um, there are no collectibles in the map. And oh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and turn this off right there. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look here in the store what we start off with. Uh, nothing least, we start off with a Case IH Maxim CVX 145. We also have a John Deere 4955. Um, this is the White Farm mods. This is built into the map, which we'll look at all the built-in ones here in a second. Um, but if we go back to, yeah, back into here, and we also have a KHIH 8910, also the custom one for the map. We have a, a Max Superliner 6x4, which that is worth $0. So that is, uh, yeah, that is not good. That one is not worth really anything right there. So be careful with that one. I mean, you don't have to be careful with it. You just can't sell it for any money. Then we have a Case Axial Flow 7150 Harvester. We also have ourselves a grain header for it and a corn header for it. Um, and then I'm assuming we have probably a header trailer down here. Yep, we have a header trailer as well uh, to be able to do all that, transport it around and do all that sort of good stuff. Uh, we also have a skid steer loader, a New Holland L318. Forklift, Manitou Forklift, we have a pickup truck. We have a Load King Distinction Super B pole trailer. Um, and then we also have a disc harrow, power harrow, subsoiler, cedar, planter, sprayer, manure spreader, slurry tank, mower, tether, windrower, we go down here, forge wagon, baler, we also have under the animal category, we have a couple of different water tanks, this one also can do milk, um, and then we also have this guy here, which is a TMR mixer, uh, we have front loader attachment, the quickie there for front loader tools, we just have a manure fork, for skid steer tools, for a skid steer, we have a high dump bucket and a bale spear, 
Um, and then down here, we have a couple of weights, a John Deere and a Ten Winkle. Um, then we also have a, a little trailer right there to move stuff around if needed. So, uh, yeah, we definitely have everything we could possibly need on this map to do whatever we want to do, which is great. So, um, yeah, let's walk around our farmyard here. I'm going to turn our map on down there at the bottom. Uh, so this is kind of our get out of the farm this way, or you can get out of the farm kind of up that way. Right here, we have our fermenter. We can get in there and take a look at that if we'd like to. It's the fermenter that does what? Just makes hay silage. Hey, yeah, yeah. Grass silage, hay silage, chaff silage, and then straw. Turns straw to silage, which is going to be a big money maker if you wanted it to go that route. Um, and then right here, we have probably our animal pen for cows. Yep, we can put uh, many more cows in there as well. We have a couple of dump figures here. We have our case in here as well, uh, just chilling. Um, and it looks like it's almost under a silo. Yeah, okay. So it's under like a little silo that can hold just kind of feed stuff, which is pretty cool. Actually, I like that a lot. Um, we'll be able to find the end point here in a second. Um, nice little field here. We don't own this field starting out, I don't believe, or do we own this field? Yeah, we do. Never mind. Sorry, we do own this meadow here. Um, and then we own the two fields over there as well. Um, yep, slurry point. It's all great, fine and dandy. And here's where you can put stuff into the feed storage there. Feed silo right there. I like that. That's a really cool feature actually out here. Uh, slurry pit right here storage um this goes up above the cows if we want to we can open this up and go in here we got some stuff stored in here um yeah and this is this round bale storage no silo is empty cow shed manure pit i don't know what this is necessarily for storage or here we go uh objects object storage that's kind of nifty so you might be able to do like some pallet storage up there uh, i'm not sure 100 about that these like might actually be might actually be able to get those out of there Oh, yeah, we can. So we start that. Those are going to spawn out there. So we have like a bale storage up here, which is really cool. Really cool to have that built in the top there. Fuel tank there. Um, right here, we also have a seed silo. We have ourselves... Gosh, I'm assuming this is going to be like a water point right here. Let's take a look in here. I'm sure it says on here. Seed silo. Probably marked on there. I missed a minute able to see it. Uh, we have our chickens right here. We can do all that sort of stuff with them. And then we're back around over here. Here's our milk point. I like that there's labels up everywhere, or at least for the most part. Then across over here, we have a nice repair trigger. Or no, excuse me. This is not a repair trigger. This is our farm production. Can we open that? We can't open that. This is where we're... Oh, we've got to be able to open that. Let's see if I can't get in here. Manage production. There we go. Finally got the door open there. And here we have open wardrobe. We have our wardrobe trigger in here, which is pretty cool. Looks like we can go in the house and everything. This is probably our sleep trigger. Yep, there we go. And some of these might be part of the required mods, because obviously I don't do mod reviews on my channel, so if I haven't used them before, I may not know. Um, and then over here, we got ourselves a couple of our little greenhouses, little vegetable gardens, basically, uh, which is pretty cool there. Uh, more storage back here. This is another fuel point. You got our diesel tank back here. Yeah, just want to make sure I'm missing things. Some more storage through here. Assuming all this is going to open up, this is going to be our pigs right here. So we have our pigs in here. Pig shed. And right here we have our feed, our feed silo, which is great probably for pig food there. And up above the pigs, we can look down on them. There we go. He's just got some more storage up there, which is great. There's that liquid manure pen we looked at earlier. And this loops back around this way. Um, that's going to be their manure pit. And there's our pig pen right there. So, uh, yeah, there we go. There's a lot going on on this, on this uh, starting farm, which I think is great. I think this is real cool. So, um, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to hop up here. I'm actually going to hop maybe right here. Hey, Shed. Will not let me jump anywhere. Oh, we're on the worker screen. That would be why. Let's hop up to the animal dealer because we have a pickup truck. Is this not ours? Rented by us. It will not let me get into it, though. That's interesting. So I bet you this is probably just decorative here. Well, I got real excited about that. Our pickup truck has to be. There we go. Okay, it's in this shed right here. Uh, Say so we can take our pickup truck out for a little drive. I think that would be the best way to kind of go about it. Back out of here. Oop, actually, I want to go this way, don't I? Yep, I want to go that way. Not that way. The next left. There we go. All right, we will head out of our farm here. And what I think we'll do is we'll take a left. We'll drive up, take a look at this stuff up over here. And then I think we'll try to cut across here and then head down up over and then back around there and that'll kind of give us basically the entire map um in a quick little uh tour there's traffic on the map 
all the amenities you'd expect to see on a map like this. And again, it's not a huge map. It's not going to take us that long to drive around it. There's a, quite a bit going on on it for how small it is, but it's a really nice little map. I really like it. Animal dealer right here. And then, of course, we have ourselves the hay shed, which is cell point, and the fast food restaurant right there. Cell point just behind it if you want to go in there. Work our way around this guy. Up here we have, I believe this is not our truck either. I'm going to say rented by us, but obviously we don't have anything leased. Uh, so it's just more decorative. And then on the right-hand side here, we have ourselves the grain mill. Um, I actually think this is all part of the grain mill here. This whole setup through here is part of the grain mill. Now, if we go back here, get away from our grain mill, we have a road that goes up that way, and then we have this road here. This is just our forestry kind of area up here. If you wanted to do some forestry work, you easily do that. And we have our sawmill up here, and I believe also looks like our debris crusher. Yeah, debris crusher, sawmill, all good to go up here. Then we'll head out this way if we can. There we go. Yeah, really good looking map, honestly. I really like this map. Oh, I want to play on it for sure. <laughs> I just... Oh, too many maps that I want to play on. Look at that. Nice little area for you to get started with your force. You have a little bit area to work around and load stuff and do that sort of thing. All right, we'll loop back around here and head out of here. If I can without crashing, hopefully. There we go. We haven't taken this little road yet. This just kind of loops down around. Might give me an idea of where I can maybe cut across here-ish, maybe. Try to cut across here. And actually, one thing I want to do as well before we get too carried away... I want to purchase all the land so we can make sure we don't miss anything on on any of the land there. So let's make it all ours. Uh, make sure we don't miss any points like there. Again, there's the horse pasture down there, which I would have missed that on there. Um, nothing up here that's too crazy. That might have been the only thing up there. Uh, but yeah, I will right, keep working our way through here. Now, of course, I'm destroying the crops because I own them now. Work our way around this tree here. And here we are kind of back out to the map. So here we have, it looks like the farmer's market. I'm sure that's the case. Yeah, farmer or grocery mart, I guess, and the bakery, but it is labeled farmer's market there. And there's the bakery production point right there for us. Right hand side, we have, it looks like just kind of a grain seller point. Yeah, wholesale point right there. All that set up there for us. Yeah, really well done map. Um, this is great of stuff going on here and then right here what do we have here we have oh rock 22 22 diner that's pretty cool oh we wanted to cut across there actually didn't we because we wanted to be able to hit everything cut across through here so we're coming down around here up here we have just the old american gray mill which is one of the required mods so we have a nice old gray mill here if you wanted to purchase it i actually use this one on uh, no man's land it works really good um it actually produces flour pretty quick too for what it is so that's a good good mod there to use regardless um, straight ahead over there, you can see our horse pasture, just right up over there. And it actually looks like we have horses in it after we buy it. Yeah, it comes with two horses, which is craziness. Go on the correct side of the road. And then down through here, we have ourselves another production point here. We have the popcorn production. So if we wanted to, we actually could probably hop out and go take a look at that. So purchase that 60,000. Sure, why not? Popcorn production, 50 popcorn or 50 corn to get 40 popcorn. So there you go if you wanted to use that production point there. There's probably a canning production as well on here somewhere. Yeah, for our French fries, not yeah, French fries. What else we can we can make? Go to this here. Uh yeah, so oh that's right, those are both made at the farm. So then yeah, this is the French fries factory, which is gonna be down there. Um I'm gonna add us in a little bit of cash here. That should be more than enough to buy the French fry factory, which is just right here. Oh, hit that fire hydrant pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Yep, 60,000. Perfect. And then again, potatoes to french fries, which works out really well. And around the back side here, we have ourselves a pallet storage, film pallet storage, which is nice as well. Uh, so yeah, we're going to drive just down here. We'll take a look at just kind of the stuff down here around the, um, the store. And then we'll do a fly over the map and call it good. And I think we've pretty well covered this map. Yeah, really good map. I think that a lot of you guys will really enjoy playing on this. And most stuff seems like it's fairly worker-friendly and everything like that. So it would be fairly intuitive and easy to play on if you wanted to. All right. There's that going over the road there. I actually really like that. Uh, so down there on the left-hand side, just down the road there, we have 
uh, buying station for lime seed fertilizer and the dairy point. You can see those both down there. And up here we have ourselves the dealer and a gas station up here. So, and of course repair trigger and all that good stuff, but that's what's up here. But there we go. Let's go ahead and hop into flight mode and take a look at this. So I really think this is kind of a nifty setup over here with the it being just kind of its own level down here. I like that. Um, it just kind of like an added little feature to it. And this looks like it needs to be in the map, but it's actually not. This is where the edge of the map goes. And again, it's not a large map. You can see the whole map from up here. We've got our French fry factory down there. We got ourselves our popcorn factory down there. Heading up over here. And I love the edge of the map. It just looks so natural out there. And we got our water area there. Horse pasture here. Starting big old starting farm here, which this is a immense starting farm right here, which is great. Up over here, we got ourselves kind of our, our diner. We have our grain mill. All the good stuff. Animal dealer. And again, the edge of the map looks great. Some more storage through there. There's some fields out there that we have. We wanted to do some work on those. Um, we got ourselves the grocery mart, which or farmer's market, depending on how you look at it. Bakery there. Grain mill cell point. And then this kind of works our way back down to, and there's an old grain mill there. And this works our way back down to kind of that, uh, the store area down here at the bottom. But uh, yeah, really good looking map. But yeah, there you guys go. There it is. There it is. The white farm by ka 770 If you guys enjoyed this map tour, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.